Tonight, a Port Augusta local left emotionally drained and in shock after her home went up in flames. And from fun runs and citizenship ceremonies to conversations with First Nations people, we unpack the divisive day that is January 26. From our seven Spencer Gulf studios, your nightly news with Madeline Kerr begins now. Good evening, thanks for joining us. A Port Augusta local is in shock tonight after returning to her home only to find it on fire. Passers-by and neighbours watched on in horror as emergency crews rushed to the scene to prevent the flames from spreading. Daniel Pizarro has this exclusive report. As smoke pours from her house, <laughs> Natasha Lee could only look on in shock and despair. Emotionally drained right now. I just want to scream and run for the hills and get away as far as I can and find my little quiet place. It's believed the fire started around 7pm on Wednesday night. Police and passers-by knocked on the doors of the neighbouring unit blocks as the situation deteriorated and Natasha Lee discovered her house was on fire. I went out for a walk like I normally do and I'd been out for about half an hour and then I noticed some smoke in that and all the traffic and I picked up my speed a little bit more. Now I realised it was coming from the street and I started jogging down the road and a neighbour called out to me and said, Tash, come here, it's your place. Fire crews from Port Augusta, Stirling North and the CFS rushed to the scene and eventually brought the fire under control with no reported injuries. Police have launched a criminal investigation into the cause of the blaze and have declared the unit a crime zone. They're asking for any eyewitnesses with information to come forward. Daniel Pizarro, 7th Spencer Golf News.